This is 48 years worth of case piled up on a table. Inside Rusty Arnold's home office. This is a book of all my notes and stuff on the case. There is proof of a brother's love. I've got four binders like this. 48 years worth of case files, background checks. 1975, I believe. Photos, address books, and notes. DNA results. He's been collecting clues, research since 1974. This is a major tool for us. When his sister Rachel and her two friends disappeared at the seminary shopping center, leaving behind a car with presents in the parking lot. I was just wanting to find my sister. And for the last 48 years, I was just wanting to find my sister. But those efforts have come at a steep price. This case has torn my family apart. 48 years without answers or justice, 48 years of false hope. But false hope turned to renewed hope Sunday. Melissa's case gives me hope that there's, there's a chance. When Melissa Highsmith, the Fort Worth baby kidnapped 51 years ago, announced she reunited with her family. I can't tell you the goosebumps, man. This is, this is just incredible. It's insane that somebody could turn up after 51 years. I'd like to see our girls turn up after 48. That would be awesome. Rusty knows the odds are not high. Nothing is guaranteed. It took 51 years, but they got closure. I don't know if I'll ever get it, but I'll keep trying. Because Melissa's family kept trying, because it paid off. No stone left unturned. As long as there's a breath left in my body, I wanted to know that I'm going to be trying to find her. These are, here's another photo album. Further proof, a brother's love never dies. Look how beautiful that wedding dress was. And a glimmer of hope never hurts. In Fort Worth, I'm Sydney Persing.